pirates and their treasures have been told across the seas for hundreds of years. But imagine a place where you can step in and not only see, but interact and explore as if you were a pirate yourself. Located here in St. Augustine, the Pirate and Treasure Museum, where there's over 800 different artifacts for you to learn all about. A wide range of guns, maps, and even treasure chests, some of which belong to real buccaneers, can be found within these four walls. So, let's sail into it. When you step inside, you will be immersed into over 300 years of pirating history. Through this experience, guests can simulate what life was like for pirates in Port Royal, Jamaica. And while they can't show us exactly how they lived, they come very close to it with all of their exhibits and artifacts. Some of which include learning how to steer a pirate ship, shoot cannons, and much more. Also lying in this very museum is one of the oldest pirate treasure chests known to man. Interactive activities as well as animated screens found throughout the museum help educate visitors of all the history there is to be discovered. Another huge part in pirate history took place right across the street from the Pirate Museum, and this is known as the Famous Fort. Many may have heard of this location, but what you probably don't know is that construction for it took way in 1672 as the result of a horrific pirate attack. The pirates who invaded left many buildings in ruins and many civilians dead. This prompted Spain to start rebuilding. Equipped with cannons nearly everywhere, no pirate was coming near St. Augustine ever again. With the pirate's disappearance, there are many artifacts found and they now lay in the Pirate and Treasure Museum. Pirate fanatic or not, this unique establishment located at 12 South Castillo Drive is sure to have something that will pique your interest. Adult tickets cost $13.99, kids tickets cost $6.99, and children four and under get them for free. They're open from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. daily. Their great pricing and hours makes this museum accessible to just about anyone. Unfortunately, now it has come time for us to walk the plank. I'm Rainy Holloway. And I'm Brianna McKinney. Reporting, reporting for Ignition, Ignition TV. TV. Here at Spring Lane Ranch, you're faced with the opportunity to become an equestrian, which you'll soon learn is no easy task. You must be 100% dedicated to what you're doing and make sure there's no horsing around. Okay, that was so unnecessary. There's no time for your puns. Who do you think you are telling me I can't make puns? Okay, Brianna, stop stalling. It's time to saddle up and get ready for the main event. Though large and very strong, horses still have extremely sensitive skin. And in order to prevent various health problems, you need to ensure that you are grooming them properly before you ride them. A few things to remember before climbing aboard is to make sure that you're wearing the proper attire. This entails boots, long jeans or breeches, and a helmet. So first you're gonna start with the saddle pad and you're gonna put it up forward towards his neck and then slide it back until about his shoulder blade. Then you're going to place the saddle over the saddle pad. Now strap your girth onto the billets. Now it's time to secure your reins and mount your horse. You don't need any prior experience to learn from the trainers here at Spring Lane Ranch. However, you do need to pay close attention to their instruction. They want to make sure you're doing everything right to ensure both your safety and the safety of the horses. You can step onto this ranch located at 4427 Spring Lane with little to no experience and walk out of here with the knowledge of an equestrian. And while Bree and I clearly have many more lessons to go before we reach that level, we're well on our way. I'm Brianna McKinney. And I'm Randy Holloway. Reporting, reporting for, for Ignition, Ignition TV. TV.
so much roomier. It is, but honestly, a lot of people watch TV on their phones. Oh, you're right. What are you doing in there? Click here for more. Anyways, the point is pop culture has evolved a lot over the years. Not just in the way we watch TV, but also how we view art. The commercials we see. And the clothes we wear. Now let's go get a more in-depth look at all of these. You know, I prefer almost anything over what my dad likes to play in the car. It's just not my personal preference. I know exactly what you mean, but it really gets you thinking about how popular music has changed over the years. For example, 50 years ago, the most popular song was To Sir With Love by Lulu. I know they will. Okay, that's enough of that. Now, let's put on something a bit more modern. How about the most popular song of 2017. I'm in love with the shape of you. That is much better. But music isn't the only form of art that has showed signs of evolution. Exactly. So let's take it to Bailey to see a more visual form of art. So check this out, Rainy. Before 1986, the best way to get your hands on the music you wanted to listen to was to go to the store and buy a CD. I'm so glad it isn't like that anymore. Music streaming services like Spotify, Pandora, Apple Music, and many more are so much more convenient. See, my only complaint with those is that they have so many commercials. I see where you're coming from, but commercials weren't actually always around, or at least they weren't as advanced as they are today. Let's go get a more in-depth look at how commercials have evolved with Steven. Music videos are so much easier to watch nowadays. You're right. You used to have to go to MTV and tune in at just the right time to see the music video that you wanted to watch. But now, thanks to YouTube, we can watch whatever we want, whenever we want. Let's watch that one. Mm. Ooh, what is she wearing? I mean, do you see when this video is uploaded? Style can change a lot over nine years. I wonder if we're able to tell what decade certain attire was from. You know, Jace might actually be able to help us with that. Now let's take it to him to see when the students on our campus think certain styles were from. As many of you may know, a lot of the teachers on this campus actually sat in the very seats that you do today. But they experienced a whole other perspective than we have. The culture in their day and age differed severely from what we see today. And as the world progresses, it's important to know your history. And who knows what's to come in the future. I'm Rainy Holloway. if you think you can interrupt my investigation. Now you're just mocking me. Let's go. I've been trailing those thugs since first period. Yeah, yeah, sit down. But when I get these things off, I'm gonna... Ah, I see the two of you have met. Excuse you? Wait, you mean she? Your new partner. Now listen up. There's been another uptake of childish shenanigans on campus. Littering, loitering, you name it, it's happening. Again. On it like icing on a donut, sir. I like it. Now, get to work. Time to take out the trash. Oh, I know you're not talking about me. Oh, I am. Oh, I am. Go! Ten four, back and forth. All right, everyone. You're all late. Go to the main office and get a pass. Aw, can't you just let us in? Okay, fine, but just this once. Nuh-uh. All y'all late, and you're going to the choice room. What are you doing? You run, but I'm gonna get you. 10 
four back to four. Copy. You missed one. You pick it up. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Pick that up, Buttercup. I like your style. It's not all bad. <laughs> I like it too. Get those donuts! You mean that thief? Yeah, him too, but, but don't smash the donuts! On it! Wait! But that zebra cake's getting away! But I know where he's going. We could just get him now. Okay. I've had donuts for so long. Think again, Sprinkles. Where did you come from? Come on, go. Not so fast, Joe boy. I'll take that. Nice work, ladies.